Hello, my name is Ms. Brannick and I am the sixth grade BD teacher at Crockett Middle School. I'm super excited because I get to lead you in the first craft in our crafting with Crockett classroom. So today we're going to make sponge painted hearts in honor of Valentine's Day. So to get started, we are going to make a heart stencil that is going to be smaller than the piece of paper you will be using for painting. So this is what I'm going to use to make my stencil. And these are some examples of the paper. This is a piece of white paper, plain white paper. This is cardstock. So this is just a little sturdier than a piece of paper. This is pink cardstock, and this is my yellow cardstock. And really, you can use any color that you have at home or that you choose from in the store. So I'm going to take my piece of cardstock and I'm going to fold it in half. So just pay attention that this is the folded edge. So I'm going to fold it in half and this is my folded edge and I'm going to create a half of a heart. So the reason why I'm creating the half of a heart is because when I take my scissors and I cut out my half of a heart and I open it up, I get a whole heart. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my piece of cardstock, whatever color that you choose to use for your card, and I'm going to take my stencil heart and I'm going to tape the heart onto the card. So I'm going to take my tape, I'm going to take a piece of tape, and it doesn't have to be that big. See, it's not really a big piece of tape. You can use two pieces of tape if you want or you can just use one piece of tape. And I'm just going to fold it over like this. I'm going to place it in the middle of my heart stencil and I'm going to place it either in the middle of my card or I could place it on an angle. So I choose to place it on an angle. So I'm going to press very very lightly on my heart and my card. Okay, so I'm going to put this to the side right now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sponge and I am going to cut three pieces from the sponge and this is going to be the three pieces because I'm going to have three colors. And the colors that I have are red and white. Now you might be asking, Miss Brannick, why do you need three pieces of sponge when you have two colors? But what happens when you mix red and white together? Hmm. Have you figured that out yet? Yes, you get pink. So I'm going to cut out my three pieces of sponge. And when I cut my sponge out, I make sure that they're going to be big enough that I can hold it with my fingers and not really make a mess. And by the way, it's very important to make sure that you have a clean work area and some paper under where you're using your paint. So now I'm going to place that to the side. And then I'm going to take my paper plate and I'm going to start like I have already. I'm going to take my colors and put them on my plate, around my plate. And I'm just giving myself some good space in between the colors. So I put my red down. I have my white. And then I have, already you can see that I mixed it, but I can make some more pink. So I have some white here. And then a little dab of red. Just a little bit. And then I mix it together. Now I have chosen to use a Q-tip, which is just a suggested material item. So I mix it together. And then if it's not pink enough for you, feel free to grab a little bit more red paint. So now I'm going to move this to the side and then I'm going to grab my card. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to very gently keep some pressure on my stencil heart and then I'm going to take my red and I'm going to dab the sponges in the paint and then I'm going to start dabbing them on the paper. 
and I started one over here. So I'm going to dab it on the paper and I'm going to alternate colors. So here's my red. And you could see that I'm holding on to the heart, pressing down near the edges when I'm getting close with the sponge. So that's a little bit of red. And now I want to get some white. So I dabbed into the white. And now I'm dabbing on the paper. And then you're going to repeat with whatever colors that you choose. Now I have pink. And with the pink, I'm going to go onto the red. You're going to repeat with all the colors until the entire paper is covered. And then with the hand that is not doing the painting, you can just gently lift up and take your stencil off. And now you have created your sponge painted heart. So this is an example of one of my sponge painted hearts. And this is dried completely. And then I have this one. And for this one, you can see I use some glitter. So I'm just going to gently shake off the glitter. And then I'm going to lift off my heart. And there we go. So I have two examples of sponge painted hearts. And then I can open up the cards. And I can write a great message to my daughter and give her a wonderful card for Valentine's Day. So you can give these to anyone you want to at home, in your family. Okay, so we are super excited to bring Crafted with Crockett to all of you. And I'm going to post my pictures in the Google Classroom. And we are excited to see your great masterpieces posted in the classroom as well. Thank you.